Welcome to day one of trying to teach myself to make Pokemon sprites. I lied, I did this over the course of two days. You may not know this about me, but when I was like 12, I used to do Pokemon fusions before I knew they were called Pokemon fusions. I think we called them like Pokemon splices back then. They were terrible because I was 12. But what I'm trying to say is I've always liked messing around with sprites. Hell, most of my thumbnails on YouTube these days is Pokemon sprites. N not my Pokemon sprites, but uh, I take very good care of them and make sure they look very pretty in thumbnails. I've always wanted to make Pokemon sprites, but I just didn't think that I could. And then I was asked to make a silly Pokemon sprite for a particular ROM hack. I decided, sure, why not? It doesn't have to be like good or anything, so let me give it a shot. And uh, I ended up really enjoying it, and it turned out better than I thought. Anyway, after doing that Zapdos sprite, I thought, hey, what if I decided to learn how to sprite? And what if I made Pokemon fusions? Now, mixing and matching Pokemon fusions, it's really not that hard. Kind of just cutting parts here, cutting parts there, changing colors. So I decided to take it even further. And I was like, you know what? What if I just sprited them from scratch? Because ultimately I want to learn how to sprite Pokemon. I already know how to splice and mix and match Pokemon. That's not really anything crazy. I want to learn how to sprite them from scratch. And then I thought a good excuse to do this would be to make a Pokemon Fusion ROM hack. I have to make the sprites to put into the ROM hack because I can't afford to commission all of them. I'm always playing other people's ROM hacks, so why don't I put one together and have other people play mine? I'm really glad I decided to go down this path because I've got a lot of really cool ideas. I have no idea how to execute them. I've never made a ROM hack before, uh, but I'm always willing to learn. What you've been watching me create is uh, Bronze Lift. It's a Growlithe Bronzor fusion that my friend Clay came up with. To keep a long story short, for my fusion ROM hack, I decided it would be a good idea to handle Pokemon fusions a little differently. I think most people think of two Pokemon they want to see mixed and then fuse them, and then the stats and the type and the abilities are an afterthought. For me, I'm doing it backwards. I'm asking people, hey, what is a type combination or a Pokemon strategy or an ability combination? Like what is a strategy that doesn't exist yet in Pokemon that you would like to see? So Clay came to me and said he wanted a fire steel type that could trick Flame Orb and Toxic Orb. And then that's how we worked backwards and decided on Growlithe and Bronzor. So I will pass that same question off to you in the comments. What is a Pokemon strategy, type combination, a Ability, stat distribution, like what is something you would like to see as a Pokemon? Don't even consider thinking about or telling me what Pokemon you want to be in the fusion because I will just disregard your comment. I want to try and come up with that myself. I originally wanted to do this as a daily series, but after how long it took me to just do this one sprite, I don't think that is possible, but I do want to make this a series. I will look at the comments, choose my favorite idea, and I'll make a sprite for it as an excuse to learn, and so you guys can peer pressure me into continuing making my ROM hack.